Hi, it's Peter Zellums, Green Flix Adventure Aid, and welcome to another video. Yes, today it's all about power stations, portable power. iTech World have brought out a new power station, and I have got myself one. It's going to complement my other iTech World power stations that I have that I use for my adventure travel, for my four wheel drives. But we have another one. Yes, here it is here. It's here. Uh, it's bigger. <laughs> it's. It's a new power station by iTech World. It's called the PS2000. And there's one big fundamental difference. Actually, there's two big fundamental differences between this and all the other power stations that iTech World have released. Yes, it's larger capacity, but the other big thing that's different about this is that it's a UPS, an uninterruptible, uninterruptible, uninterruptible. <laughs> Uninterruptible power supply. That has some big advantages. In addition to portable power, let's talk about that. The existing ones that I have are the 1300P, the 500p and also I've got this power station, this little box here. It actually does two things. It runs um, portable power when I need it for photography and for running my car fridge. But it also starts the car in the event that I have a flat battery main starter battery. This can actually start the car. My big V8 diesel, yep, yeah, that will start the car. Lithium power stations have been a real game changer for me for adventure travel. One of the big advantages of uh, lithium power stations in adventure travel is in cooking. Um, I've been able to eliminate gas and metho burners, um, everything with a live flame by actually using induction cooking. So that's made camping much safer. It means that uh, in extreme conditions you can literally be cooking inside your tent, for example, on, a, on an induction cooker, and, uh, or boiling up some water in a small 12 volt kettle or something like that, all from the power station. And the 1300P is probably the ideal power station when it comes to your four wheel drive. It has a capacity of 1,300 watts, which is good for induction cooking. You can get induction cooker plates, for example, that use 1200 watts, so that's perfect. And there are other uh, devices that run below that 1300 watt capacity. When you have electrical power or power stations, you've got to sort of compare the type of devices that you want to run and what their rating is compared to the capacity of your unit. So I find the 1300 watts to be perfect for my adventure travel, my four wheel driving. The other one that I have is the 500 watt, the 500p. And that is great for charging up my computer or running my computer, my laptop for video editing and for my photography, or charging up all my cameras, providing lighting. Um, it's not, the capacity isn't large enough to run a, an induction cooker, uh, but for everything else it's perfect. Uh, of course, this will run my fridge. This will run my uh, camper fridge. This will actually run the domestic fridge as well. My, uh, my upright fridge freezer here. And, uh, and this smaller uh, unit here, the jump starter, which, you know, which, run, which starts your car. This will run your fridge, your car fridge, uh, your lights, will charge your batteries, will even be able to run your computer system as well, your laptop computer. So, um, why have a larger unit? And uh, particularly this one here, the uninterruptible power supply. Well, let's um, clear the desk, unbox this and have a closer look at that. And we'll be able to see how we can use that both in a camping environment uh, for my four wheel drive adventure travel, for my photography requirements, charging my devices, whatever. But now this becomes a domestic unit as well. How can this be something that's really important to run your power in your household for critical items. Fridge, the refrigerator, um, your internet, um, your computer systems, anything that needs to run all the time. And if there's a power failure, that takes over. 
Let's unbox this and have a look. Instructions, that always helps. A bag of goodies, um, cables basically. We'll need those. Okay, well I guess this is an unboxing, so I can just go through some overall features of the PS2000 and then we'll be doing some more testing in uh, the camping environment, but also in the domestic environment, which will be in the subsequent video. So just from an operation point of view, there's, I noticed some things straight away, is, and that's with this accessory pack. With the other power stations, you've got a power cord to connect up for charging AC, but then you've also got a, a transformer as well, which just takes up more space as well. All that is actually incorporated into the box, which means now all you have is a power cord when you want to charge from the mains power, and you just connect it up to the power station. On one side, you've got the inputs, and on the other side here, you've got the outputs. We've got three outputs here, as in AC outputs. One, two, three, 240 volts. So that's that side there. And then on the other side, we've got the input side. And then you can just plug in your AC there, just like that. And then you can actually plug it into the wall as well. All right, so we can do that later on. And so you can see we've got the 12 volt input and mini Anderson plug that's what it's called there so okay to turn it on we've just got a power button there and you have to do is just press that for a couple of seconds and then the screen will come on and there's a whole bunch of useful information on the screen you've got the input power that's coming in and also you've got the output power being an uninterruptible power supply means you can actually connect it up to your mains power and also be using power from the output as well. The great advantage of the uninterruptible power supply means when you connect it up to your power and you connect another 240 volt to the output, it's actually bypassing the battery here and goes and takes the power straight from the mains power. And if for some reason the mains power fails, then the battery instantly kicks in and continues to provide 240 volts power. Now, as an uninterruptible power supply, this becomes really important for people with country houses. I have a friend who uh, lives in the city, but also has a country uh, farm. And one of their biggest gripes is that the power supply to their farm is unreliable. Now, living in two locations means they've got a operating a fridge and they're also operating a separate freezer. And if the power goes off for a day or two days, which it does from time to time, everything in their freezer gets ruined and destroyed. And they could lose a thousand dollars a time in spoiled food produce, meats and whatnot. If they did have an uninterruptible power supply like this, uh, with their fridges and freezers connected to this, it means that during those situations, this would kick in and would continue to maintain the temperature in the fridges. You can imagine, if that happens three times, that basically pays for the power station. Yeah, huge advantage of the UPS. All right, so that's power in, power out. Uh, it shows you the capacity, how much power there is left in the capacity here. It gives an estimate as far as uh, how many hours of operation you have. The display maxes out at 99 hours. If you're not drawing much power, it's going to run much longer than 99 hours, but anyway. We've got the 240 volt output there, but then we have all the 12 volt outputs here. So we've got a whole bunch of uh, outputs. Okay, so uh, we've got USB outputs here. And um, so there's four of those. And then you've got USB-C outputs here as well. 
the USB-Cs uh, have a capacity of 100 watts, so that means I can actually use a USB cable and connect my MacBook Pro directly to that, and it will charge at the full capacity while I'm using my MacBook Pro for video editing, etc. So, okay, we've got a output there, 12 volt, 25 amp output. So that's a special connector there. Uh, we've got a 12 volt, 3 amp output there, and also another one there, the same type. And then we've got a cigarette lighter output, and that's a 12 volt, 10 amp output. All right, so that's all the 12 volt outputs. And then we have a light as well. So if you press that once, that just turns on the light. In an emergency, which you probably don't want to be in, if you press it again, then it sends out an SOS signal. And that can operate uh, continuously until you actually turn it off. So um, three short dashes, three long dashes, three short dashes, SOS. If you press it again, then it just goes into a strobe. If you have a flat tire at night time and you're changing a flat tire, then at least you can bring out your power station, have that strobe operating at least, and then it's flashing any cars coming along the road will at least be aware that there's something going on. So that's good. And then you just press it again and it actually turns it off. Yeah, so it has all sorts of protection circuits in it so that if you use too much power, like you run your kettle there, it will switch it off. If it's a short circuit, it will switch it off. Yeah, so it's basically foolproof. And what other devices are in here? So that's your 240 volts. Um, we've got um, a cigarette lighter type connector. So if you're just running this in your car and the only power source you have in your car is the normal 12 volt cigarette lighter type connector, then you can just plug that in. And then this is your mini Anderson plug. Oh. And you just basically connect that in there like so, and put that in your cigarette lighter, then that will charge the unit as well. You do have another cable in here, which is an important one. So if you want to charge your power station using solar blankets, um, or a solar panel, then this connects to your solar panel, and then this connects to your mini um, Anderson plug here. Now the important thing to note is that you don't need any controllers. You basically connect this straight to your solar panel because all the controllers are inside the unit here, your voltage regulator and everything. Um, iTech World have a number of solar blankets, foldable, portable solar blankets, 100 watt, 200 watt, 300 watt solar blankets. Um, so you can just basically connect that straight to the blanket. The, I think, maximum capacity coming in is about 500 watts. So if you have 500 watts coming in, 12 volts, then you can charge this up in four hours. If uh, you are running, if you're charging from the wall here, this can charge at around 1,000 watts per hour, which means you can actually charge it up within two hours. That is rapid charge. I'm impressed with this. I can't wait to test it out here in the house, uh, running the fridge, etc., and just see um, how long I can run the fridge for before we use up the capacity of the unit. Uh, what other things? I'll be putting in my four-wheel drive and also do induction cooking just to see how it fits in that. What other things? I think that's probably about it. Yes, 22 kilograms. <clears throat> just something to be aware of. So if you are putting it in the car, you either have someone to help you to do that position in the car. If it's in the house, well, then it's no problems. You can put it somewhere discreet uh, in the corner, whatever. Make sure that you've got the cable connected to your fridge or your internet, whatever needs to have constant power so that this becomes an uninterruptible un un power supply. The good thing about iTechWorld World is they do provide promotions. And they, if you go to their website, itechworld.com.au, you'll see all their equipment, whether it be power stations, solar blankets, or whether they are uh, lithium batteries, if you're designing your own setup for your four-wheel drive or camper, 
and you want to put in controllers and lithium batteries and whatever, it's all there in the iTech World uh, website. Um, if you give them a call also, uh, they're very helpful with regards to helping you design your, or sort of talk about your requirements. And they provide discounts on their website to, and uh, you can just go there and purchase whatever you want. Now, I am an affiliate of iTech World. Now, what that means is that any of my viewers and subscribers um, can use my Adventure 8 discount code and you'll get an extra 5% discount off your entire purchase. That's in addition to those discounts that you see on the website. Yeah, that's an extra 5%. <laughs> All you have to do is put in the Adventure 8 discount code and then you'll see that your total is reduced by 5%. That's amazing. So that's a significant saving. Of course, that helps the channel, so that's really appreciated. That's how our able to fund or help fund uh, and create content for you guys to watch as well. Don't forget to use that Adventure 8 discount code on the iTech World website. Um, if you order something on phone, uh, use the same discount code. You don't have to do it through the internet. You can actually do it over the phone as well. Adventure 8. Just say you just want to apply the Adventure 8 discount and you'll get that additional 5% discount on top of whatever discounts are being offered on the website at the time. I think that's a, that's a wrap. Yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up, really appreciate it. Subscribe, press notifications. I look forward to seeing you on the next video when I test this out in a number of different environments. Cheers, bye.